Hi guys! Oh, this has been a crazy past week. This hair was not planned at all. I had a major disaster with my flat iron. If you guys are following me on Facebook or Instagram, you will know what happened. I bought a new flat iron and it must have been way too hot and when my hair was white silver, it completely discolored my hair. And thank you all so much for giving me so much help trying to figure out what happened to my hair and it basically was, I used uh, purple shampoo and then I used overtone pastel silver deep conditioning treatment in my white silver hair. And when I used the new flat iron the first time, I didn't understand why my hair was turning like a strange yellowish brownish color and I thought maybe it was from something going on in my hair but I had no idea that it was from my flat iron so I washed my hair rewashed my hair I will show you guys everything that I did to try to get the yellow out today I am going to attempt to get this yellow out of my silver hair, my natural silver gray hair. Hopefully you can see it in the camera. In person, it is so yellow. I have like a big streak. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that right there. And it's just all like dull and yellow. So I did a bunch of research to see the best ways to get rid of the yellow in natural gray hair. And what I found is peroxide vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and baking soda. So what I'm gonna do is kind of my own mix of what I think is going to work the best and be the strongest to remove all of this yellow. And we'll see what happens. So first I'm just going to wet my hair with, this is just pure water, and just get it a little bit damp so it'll be easier to put the solution in my hair. It's so crazy that when I used to dye my hair, like a box dye, and as soon as I would see any gray, I would be like, oh no, I have to color my hair again. Now that I have my natural gray hair, and I got out of the shower and I saw that my hair was turning back to the yellow tint. I was like, no, I want my gray hair back. So we will see if this works. I'm just taking regular baking soda and I'm just gonna pour it in here, I'm not even measuring. I'm just thinking about how much I'll need to saturate my hair. And I'm going to take hydrogen peroxide. This is 3% just regular peroxide. And I'm going to dump this in to make a paste. Oh, that's probably too much peroxide. We'll see. I'm just gonna keep doing it until it gets like a nice little paste so it's easy to apply to my hair. I'm just gonna add some more baking soda. All right, that's a good consistency. That should be easy to apply to my hair. Now I'm gonna put a towel over myself so I don't make a huge mess. Now I'm just going to put my hand in here and just slop it all over my hair and cross my fingers that this is going to work. My hair is so thick, I'm going to need a ton of this.
I am making such a mess. <laughs> Good thing I have a towel on my lap. I'm going to dunk my hair right in there. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this in for 15 minutes and I'm going to rinse it out. And then I'm going to put some apple cider vinegar mixed with water and put that through my hair and I will be back to see if it worked. Then after I did all of that, I took my, I dried my hair, took my flat iron, started straightening it again and that is when I was like, oh my, what is going on? I will show you guys exactly what happened because I turned my camera on. I felt like nobody would believe me what happened unless I actually filmed it. So here it is. Okay, uh, it kind of turned pink. I don't know if you can see it, but the white parts of my hair now have a pink tint to them. I have no idea, you guys, but I am going to go and try to... Why is it pink? I don't get it. Maybe it's having a reaction to the colored conditioner that I already had in my hair, but I am going to go rinse the vinegar and water through my hair and we'll see what that does. Well, I seriously don't know what to do now, but I figured out what was discoloring my hair. This was not here before. And you know what did this? My new flat iron. I just dried my hair and I was starting to flat iron my hair and it turned this bright fuchsia, whatever you want to call it, pink color. I'm at a loss, you guys. I seriously don't know what to do other than color my hair. Like, I don't know what to do right now. If you have any idea why a flat iron would do this to someone's hair, please share this with any hairdressers, anybody that you know, let me know why this would happen. Oh my God. I don't understand. I have flat ironed my hair so many times since it's been gray and this never happened with my other flat iron. I had an irresistible me flat iron and it just died. So I got this new one, this HSI, which got amazing reviews. So why is it turning my hair pink? I'll show you what happened. So you see this piece? There's only like a little bit of pink right there. See, as it's hitting my hair, it's changing color. Why? Why is it doing that, you guys? Ugh! See how it's like turning that brownish pink color? I am doing nothing different than I've done before with my other flat iron. I do not understand. I used all of the same heat protectors. I did nothing different that I'm doing right now than I did with my Irresistible Me flat iron that I'm doing with this HSI flat iron. Please, you guys, share this video to anybody that you think might be able to help me why this is happening, and I don't know what to do. I seriously don't know what to do with my hair right now. I am like, I am at a loss. I just went through all of that to get the color out, and it was the flat iron all along. No idea. Do I need to just color my hair now? I seriously don't even know what to do <sighs> the
this is crazy. Do not understand what is going on. Like I said, it was completely fine with my other flat iron. I did nothing different except for get a new flat iron and it is completely turning my hair this weird pink brown color and this wouldn't even come out. It's still like tinted in the rest of my natural silver hair. Ugh. So after that, I just started stressing so bad and I realized that from what all of you guys were telling me and all the research I did that my hair was oxidizing with the heat and the color that I had in my hair. Oh, I have to be honest, you guys, the first time that I burned off my hair with bleach, I did not cry. This time I cried. It has been 15 months of no dye on my hair, growing out my natural gray hair, and it got ruined. I was literally back to square one. I tried to take my time through this journey and figure out what would be the best thing for me, what felt right for me. And honestly, the hardest thing was I felt like I was letting you guys down. I felt like I was letting my silver sisters down. There's so many of you that said I was one of the people that was your inspiration to grow out your natural gray hair and now I was going to dye my hair because I ruined it. Completely unintentional but I had to do what felt right for me and I was stressing so bad. It just looked muddy and gross and it I didn't even have my natural silver anymore. I was starting back from square one so I just went for it. I will show you all of the steps that I took to get my hair this color. The only thing that I haven't tried is, oh, I've got all my friends are like, oh my God, what are you doing? I've got my daughter on FaceTime. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, the only thing that I hadn't tried is the vitamin C. And I used to do this when my hair was dyed and it looks like it's taking out some of the color. So I just did straight up vitamin C powder and I mixed it with clarifying shampoo and Dove dish soap. So that's what I've been putting through my hair. It looks like it's really lightening up around here and on the sides. So I'm just going to let this soak and hopefully it will start to fade. Okay, I just woke up you guys and I had coconut oil, squalane oil, and olive oil in my hair all night. And it looks like it's definitely lightening up. It's kind of turning like a brown color. It's for sure fading. This part here is still, it's kind of evening out now. And this side looks like it's coming out even more, but I am going to go do another vitamin C treatment. But what I wanted to run by you guys is I am following, well, we're following each other on Instagram. I'm gonna pop up some pictures of her here. She's so beautiful. She's going through the gray hair transition. Her hair is just about the same length as mine and she is purposely coloring her gray streaks in her hair and it looks so gorgeous on her. Obviously what I have in my hair right now was a complete burning accident and does not look cute, but what do you guys think? Look at these pictures of her. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go continue doing the vitamin C to see how much of this pink I can get out of my hair so I have a nice base to start from. Okay, this is what we're dealing with right now. My beautiful silver is basically gone. It is so muddy and yellow. You can still see the strips. I got rid of the pink, but now it's like just that burned color. 
same thing on this side. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to try a color remover to get rid of the rest of this. This was bright silver, like bright silver like this. If that gives you any indication as to what happened. And now it's like a muddy yellowish brown color. So I have no idea, you guys. I'm just going to slow down and figure out what to do. I'll show you my hair all the way around. It's like much darker underneath. And I've almost got all the bleach cut off. A few of you have recommended that I try a soap cap. So I'm using 20 volume developer with equal parts of shampoo and conditioner. And I'm leaving that in my hair for a half an hour. Now, even though I know that my hair is too dark to tone it silver, I'm going to give it a try to see if I can change up the tone just a little bit. So I'm using just a regular white conditioner mixed with Pravana Chroma Silk Vivids in silver, and I left that on for 20 minutes. Well, this was a total fail. I did my best. I talked to a bunch of different hairdressers. I sent pictures and they all had some ideas, but nothing worked. So I got the pink out of my hair, but I still have the brown streaks and all of my gray is discolored. Like this, like very close to my hairline, you see this white silver, that is what all of my hair is supposed to look like. And I'll put up a picture just so you can see the difference of what my hair is looking like right now. It is just so muddy. It actually looks more silver on the screen, but hopefully you can see the contrast of what my hair is supposed to look like, all this natural silver and the scorched rest of my hair. Even this is still scorched. And it still did not get it back to where it was. So it looks a lot darker and muddy and I am just totally not happy with it. So for now, this is what I'm gonna do so I don't have to look at my hair and then I will decide. I'm going to try one last round of vitamin C mixed with shampoo for one last time and I'm leaving it in my hair for a full hour this time. Well, it did not work. Nothing worked and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see like this looks way more gray in the monitor than it does in person. Like when I'm looking in my mirror right here, my hair looks like a dirty, muddy, gross color. So it's basically like I'm starting all over. It's like you can see right along my hairline, my natural gray is nice and bright, but the rest of it is all full of like this brownish yellow color. So because the styling tools are going to do this to my hair, I'm not willing to sacrifice not using styling tools. Like that was my biggest thing, that as my hair was getting healthier and healthier and growing out, I was getting so excited that I could start styling my hair again. My hair is short, I don't like my hair short. So I have to style it and make it look cute. Otherwise, just wear my ponytail extensions, which I cannot wear anymore because of how dull my hair is. So if this gives you any idea, this is the ponytail extension that I was wearing before, okay? Now you'll be able to see the muddiness 
when I put this next to my hair, you see how this is not like bright anymore? It's just dull and gross. So this is completely, totally not going to work anymore and my hair has completely changed color. So that was the hardest thing is that I went through 15 months to grow it out and get it how I love it and I'm not gonna give up my styling tools. I think from all of the hairdressers that were giving me their advice as to what happened, it makes sense that when I used my new flat iron, it was way too hot and it reacted to the overtone um, silver that I had in my hair, the overtone conditioning treatment, and it pulled out these weird colors on top of the actual flat iron burning my hair and it scorched it. It didn't damage my hair, so thankful, but it discolored it really bad. And it's just making me stress out and it's making me really unhappy. And the reason that I got upset and actually started crying is because I was thinking of not only myself, but you guys. All of my silver sisters out there that have watched me go through this journey and grow out my natural gray hair. And I'm like, my only option right now is to either bleach it, which I'm not going to do again. I'm not touching bleach on my hair or color it and start all over. And I felt like I was letting you guys down. But when I finally realized after days of going through this that I have to just look inside myself and figure out what is right for me and what's gonna make me happy. And the decision that I made is I'm going to color my hair. Am I going to let it, my natural gray grow out again? I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. I'm just gonna go day by day and see as my gray starts peeking through. What I'm thinking is maybe I will just low light as it's coming through. But right now, I have just been so stressed about this. I'm just going all in. I'm coloring my whole entire head. And I'm starting over because I'm starting over anyways with just this muddy, gross color. So if I have to start over, I might as well start over with a color that I like and then go from there. So after 15 months, starting all over. So I decided to just do this myself and I'm going to use Garnier Olea. This is 60% oils and no ammonia in this hair color. It's not chemical free, but it was the best one that I could find in the drugstore that has the least amount of chemicals and the most oils in it. So I decided I'm going, this is basically the same color that my hair was dyed before I started my gray hair transition. And I'm not trying to get back to this color, but why I decided to go with this is 7.0 dark blonde is because my hair is naturally so dark, as you can see, like in the back, and I'm not going to bleach it. So you can't color with a lighter color over dark and expect it to lift and turn into this color. So this is still going to stay dark, but this is going to act as kind of highlights in my natural gray hair and you can always go darker. So if it ends up being too much of like a warm golden look and that's really not what I'm going for, I can always go darker. So this will kind of work as highlights to my hair and cover all of this gray and blend it in hopefully with the rest of my hair. This is crazy you guys, oh my God. This is the first time I've colored my hair in 15 months. This is insane. Well, what I can say so far about this Olea hair color is it is totally not burning. It doesn't stink like my eye, the other stuff that I used to use, um, L'Oreal Preference would be so strong. It would make my eyes burn and water and this does not even have a strong smell. So that is good. It means that there's not as many chemicals in it and 
like I said, there's no ammonia and extra oils in it. So I am going to wait 30 minutes and it's already changing color. My grays are already gone. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is so crazy. I'm very curious to see what color this is going to come out. All right, so this is the color that I got so far. It's so strange how you can still see kind of the wiriness of my gray. And looking at it in person, it looks more of a brown, almost, I feel like it's almost a green tint. And so I definitely have to color it again, but it's so much better. I'll show you the back. It blends so much better with the darkness underneath. So one more try and I will have this all covered up. Okay, I just went and got this hair color. It looks crazy red, but I need some serious warmth in my hair. This is L'Oreal Paris Excellent Cream in the color 6RB Light Reddish Brown. And this is the brand that I used to use, so I know it covers my resistant gray hair. Unfortunately, the Olea did not work on my resistant gray, but I know that this will, so let's see. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at that saturation. Yes. This is definitely covering, putting more warmth back into my hair. I'm going to leave this on for an extra 10 minutes. It said for resistant gray instead of 30 minutes to do 40 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we will see how it turns out. So after all of that, this is the final color that I came out with and it's crazy that I used that bright red color. My hair just needed so much warmth put into it and I probably will go even warmer than this. I'm really not sure yet, but for now it's covered. I don't know what I'm gonna do from here, but we will see. I really hope that I can help you guys or anyone you know who is dealing with silver hair, do not turn your flat iron on too hot or don't use heating tools. Personally, I am not willing to sacrifice my heating tools to have my white hair. It, I could not wait after 15 months of growing out my natural gray to start styling and straightening my hair is so thick and coarse and like you can't probably can't tell right now because I've got it all straightened but when my hair is not straightened it looks like bushy and crazy and I don't always want it like that I want to be able to use my styling tools and straighten my hair and put waves in it so for now this dark hair is what I'm going to do the next time you see me, I may have highlights. I may start growing out my natural gray. I honestly don't know. I feel like whatever works for you is what you should do. Whatever makes you feel good, that is the answer. So if you guys know anyone who has silver, white, or gray hair, or even light blonde hair, share this video, let them know, show them what happened to me, and Hopefully this will not happen to anyone who watches this video. Just be super careful with your heating tools. I wish I knew this before, but I can't go back. And it's not the end of the world. It's just hair, it will grow. I can make a decision if I want to start my journey again or keep coloring. Thank you so much for watching you guys, bye.